Oh, this is cool. Dragnet, bad seven, one, four puzzle. Hmm. Oh, you think that's neat? Oh, wait, do you see this one? Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Just look inside, look down, look at it. All right, everybody, look at I got these screwdrivers and they got this nasty whiteness on them. I'll see what happens. Put some water on it. So, let me try another experiment. Let me show you what I think might work. All right, sprayed some WD. Look at this. Watch this. This white substance. And take a rag to it. Oh, watch out, glove. Look at that, it's coming clean. Let's try this other one. Look at this. It's coming clean. Remember, the hot water did nothing to it. WD, do that a couple times, and we'll get this thing looking like brand, brand new. Look at that. Just to show you, this is what it looked like. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Robert Zabel, auctioneer extraordinaire here with Second Sense Auctions. And I got Magic Mike right here behind the camera. And guess what? The best thing is, the stuff you see, you can bid on the stuff, www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. We had this tote, and man, we started going through it. So many great things, just like the other videos. Check out the other videos. We found cards, cards, cards. That book, and look at this, 1939, Mickey Mouse, Mother Goose book, 1939. So who knows what else is in here? We got some boxes, we got all kind of stuff to go through. So let's see what we can find today. Oh, Mike, look at this. That's why I kind of showed up here. There is so much. The last tote, it was packed, stacked with collectibles, all kind of great things. And this one looked very similar. So we'll start right off here. I'm going to pull this out. Oh, look at this, Mike. Look at this. First, we got all these little ceramic football helmets. Or football team ceramic little mugs. And there's all these different teams in there. The Saints. You got the Giants. The Eagles. The Buccaneers. And then the Broncos. Then look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Little heart playing doll. And here's more of those. Oh, here's the Lions. The Dolphins. The Chargers. Oh man, my son's like, what's that team with the lightning bolts on the house? And he's starting to learn about football. Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh wow, look at this. Look how old that flashlight is there. Wow. Ever ready flashlight? 50s, 60s? Oh, it's definitely older than that. It's probably like 40s, 30s. Made in the United States. 50s, 40s. You might be right in the 50s. Definitely not 60s. It's old. Wow, look at that. What is this? Oh, cards. And baseball cards, football cards, all that. They're coming back. They're people, are, I mean, they're starting to be highly collectible again. 83. Baseball. Oh my gosh. Look at this. You won't believe a card I just popped to. Hmm. What's the chances? Who's that? Terry Francona. That's wow. right. That's the Indians manager, the Cleveland Indians manager right there. Terry Francona. Wow. Who used to play. Look how young he is. So this is 83. 
How old are you in 83, Mike? Uh, That's right. Young. I don't even yeah. know if he was born yet. <laughs> and uh, the Ballad of Davy Crockett. It's the song I always sing. You never said, I've never heard this song before. <laughs> Davy. Well, put it down the Davy table. Crockett. King of the wild frontier. You know what I'm saying? That's the scene. Oh, look at this. Mickey Mantle. Artist running a Cleveland Indians pitcher, Danny Baez. Okay. Omar Baez. Then we got like some kind of oh, football autograph right there. Hanford Dixon. Cleveland legend. Hanford Dixon. You know Hanford. I know Hanford. He knows Hanford. Browns 2000. Building a winner. Took 20 years, but yeah. Yeah. 20 years. And look at this. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck Cup. Is that awesome or what? 1977. Yeah, that was filmed in Cleveland, right? Howard the Duck, yeah, I movie. believe. Parts four, yes, I think you're correct. Oh, okay. We got more. We got the uh, the Ravens and the Bears. The Bears. Oh, wow. Look at that, Mike. Look at this. Look at this. Buck Rogers book. How old that is. The binding's intact. Be a bit real careful with this one. Let's see if I can see a date inside here. Man. I don't see a date over there. Unbelievable. It's old though. Pretty cool, huh? The old That's Buck old Rogers. I don't know what year it is, but it's old. Oh, there's more books on it. Pink Panther. Donald Duck. <laughs> oh, these are the flip books again. Oh, I showed this to my kids. I brought one home the other day. Come in close, Mike. Yeah. Come in close. You ready? I'm going to put on a little cartoon show for you. One more time. Ready? Yeah. 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 A little faster this time. Go, Donald, go, Donald, go, Donald, go, 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 go. And now, the best is backwards. Woo! <laughs> the Pink Panther's got one in there, too. Let's take a quick one. Hey, it's a Pink Panther. Hey, a little cartoon entertainment. One more time. That's right. Only here on Second Sense you get a cartoon and during the show. Let's wrap up. Mm. Oh, yes. My favorite of all, Uncle Scrooge. You know, I got a big vault full of money that oh, I yeah. swim through, Mike. It's actually just pennies, but don't dive into pennies, ladies and gentlemen. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Look at this old. Daffy Duck, 1973, Pepsi glass, oh, man. oh cool, bye bye the sailor man, doo, doo. two of them not in a garbage can, there's another book here, Papa, he's going, to... there's just cards everywhere Mike, oh my gosh, okay, so we got Donald Duck, we got more, Flip cartoon books. Oh, this is the same one we had. Donald doing the luau. There's a bunch of them in there. Look at this. Bugs Bunny. Another Popeye. He's got doubles of some. Wow. Woody Woodpecker. Now this one looks old. Carl Barks Art. I don't know who Carl Barks is, but there's his art, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe. This one is date right here. 1945. Look at that, Mike. 40. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> look at this one. The artwork is awesome on there. The Bat Bandit? <laughs> wow. Look at the back. 
Very cool. So we got a date on this one, like. Looks about the same time period. This one says 1935. 1935 copyright. Wow. This is why I love my job. Finding history, touching history. And if I told you this, you guys won't believe it. Oh my gosh. Ready? Mm hmm. A whole slew of them. We got Batman, Spider Man, Lassie, the we got Flipper, Tarzan, Lassie, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and don't forget about Skippy! Everyone loves Skippy. Oh, man. That stack right there, that's got to be money, Mike. These are all people, people know almost every character, maybe not Skippy, but everyone else in there. Oh, look at this. And some of these are so old. Look at this Orphan Annie. Once again, this likes between the 30s and 40s. Oh my gosh, even older. 1928 copyright date. 1928. This kid, this is a book the kids would get back then. It was probably cheap. Oh, it, oh it's just low, so loaded in here. Look at this. The Cleveland Browns matches. You ever see a Cleveland Browns match book? Not like that. Oh. We got Browns football player cards just... Scatter in the bottom. We got a David Robinson card with a big dent in it from probably getting crushed in the box. I mean, who puts stuff in the toe like this? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's just no rhyme, no reason. It's just, oh my gosh. Look at this book. Mickey Never Fails. The condition doesn't look great, but these are old. Little Pig's Picnic. Let's just take a look. Oh, look at They printed something out for eBay or something. Look at What is this? I always like when people do this. Disney Sleigh Ride. This is in this book. Something about $225, blah, 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 blah. What year is this? Let's see, there's a year on here. 2009. Ooh. Three Little Pigs, Boston. These are just old books. I said this. The best is their Mickey Mouse Disney books. Yeah, condition is not the greatest, but they're definitely money. And these are old. Donald Duck and his nephews. Dumbo of the Circus. The Adventures of Mickey Mouse. Book one. Let's see if we can find a day in this one. Copyright 1931. I mean, the condition is not great, but how old is that thing? Obviously, this person likes collecting books. Look at this. Slipcase edition, 1970, commissioned by this Gerard Bank. And I like when they have stuff for. Oh, 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 this is cool. Dragnet. Bad 714 puzzle. Hmm. Oh, you think that's neat? Oh, wait, do you see this one? The mechanical terrier. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so don't get out of it. And this is, uh, that says New York. It's got to be made from Japan, though. Look at this thing. Let's see if it works. I don't want to break it. Seem like it wants to work, but it's vintage old new stock. How cute is that? A lot of times, these wind up toys <clears throat> they're, they were cheap toys made back in the day, they're not worth a lot, a lot of money. Man, there's so much more to go through. Keep watching, who knows what else we're gonna find. Wow, 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 unbelievable tote. Let's keep going right here. It's like the Super Bowl of totes. <laughs> No, not that one particular. You don't remember Super Bowl 33? It was in Miami, Florida, right? Yeah. Huh. And who lived in Miami? In 99.
Dolphins? I lived in Miami. You did? Yeah. I lived in Miami in 99. That's right. Not only, Mike, did I live in Miami, I actually cooked for that Super Bowl. And I cooked for this man right here. You know who this guy is? John Madden. That's right, John Madden. And right there is auctioneer, extraordinaire, a young buck <laughs> back in the day. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's me. There's my brother and John Madden and my other buddy over there. So, But man, I cooked for that Super Bowl. So it's just a coincidence. I find the same Super Bowl football inside. One of the things I'm going through brings back memories. You just never know in this business. Let's see what else is inside there. <laughs> Look at That was that mask we found. Little Lulu. You like Little Lulu? I don't know if Little Lulu. Oh, how about Happiness is a Warm Puppy? Yeah. Peanuts. By Charles Schultz. Huh. Happiness is a thumb and a blanket. Happiness is an umbrella and a new raincoat. Happiness is a pile of leaves. And happiness is watching Second Sense auction videos. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's the beef. <laughs> Leave it to Beaver. Oh, look it. Looks like it got chewed on by a mouse. Or a beaver. Or a beaver. Look, very <laughs> good point. Or a beaver. We got some books down here. Oh, we already looked at those. Oh, but look at these over here. This got me interested. The Art of Walt Disney. Fancy. What the heck is this? It's got like these uh, boards in here. Interesting. Fancy. Looks so like we got some more Disney stuff, of course. Wow, I see something that's crazy in a minute. Look at this. New York's World Fair. Remember when you were in New York's World Fair, Mike? I've been there. Is it the New York's World World Fair? Look at these Pinocchio books. And this one looks like it's older than this one. Well, let's see if they have dates or if they're the same time. 1939. This one says 1939 too. But they're different Pinocchio books. What do you think about that? Oh, look at this. Disneyland. Magazines. Whole bunch of here, Mike. You ever read Disneyland magazine? No, I haven't. Wow. I've been there. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah. You've been to Disneyland or Disney World? Uh, the one in Florida. That's Disney World, Mike. Disney World. Yep, I have to correct myself. This is how I look right now. <laughs> Shaking my head. Unimpressed. Shaking my head. That's pretty good, though. What's this? Oh, Moby Grape. Moby Grape? Mike seems to be a fan. I don't know Moby Grape. 60s Rock. Henry Miller book. Jiminy Crick in 1940. Woo! Jiminy Cricket. 1998 Blues Festival. So you gotta look through every little piece here. Look at this. It's so old, it's just falling apart. This is the old piece of paper. Lynn Radio Cleveland. 1930. Voice of the Air. Amos and Andy. Look at this. A surprise to children. These old books like this right there. 1933 Christmas. 1933. Man, there's so many old books. Wee Willie Winky. That's what the kids used to call you, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Wee Willie Winky. Say that 20 times fast. 1932 says here. That's what someone wrote in there, so I'm assuming it's probably there or, or before 1932. This book is some kind of cartoon book. The usual. <laughs> Everyone looks the same. Oh man. Little cutout dolls. 
Oh, it's got paper trolls. I didn't even realize it's troll dolls. Wow. Look at these. Look at the troll dolls. 1965. Wow. Look, Joe, 1965 troll dolls. Paper cutouts. You could dress them in all the different clothing you want. You might not work tomorrow if you find this. Take this home. All right, I'll take the day off. He'll take the day off to play with the trolls, as long as you videotape it. All right, All right take it to the circus, Joe. We can read this book, too. Oh, look at that. Another Mickey Mouse film. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse, a silly symphony cartoon. 16 millimeter. 16 mm -hmm. millimeter. It's old. <laughs> you guys can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> The help. San Francisco Crip. Crip? Crip. Huh. Like the gang, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What it is. I guess it's, it looks like it's uh, short uh, poems and stuff. Appreciation of the Yankee dollar. This is a standard speech at Union Square every Saturday afternoon. To some people, it's a comedy. To me, it's tragic. Our old people, the real senior citizens, are born to work, to be responsible, to rear children, to carry a burden of life, to protect the young, to give us security. And when they're old and dependent, when they deserve a reward for a good job well done, when they need us, we turn our backs. So they live in the dark rooms of the alley hotels, eat sparingly, stretch the stinky little pension check for survival or existence, not living. How tall would you have to be had we not the shoulders of giants upon which we stand. I wonder that all the time. So, there you go. This could be yours, Mike. If the price is right. Walt Disney Jungle Book. 1978. Very cool. Unbelievable. Baseball pants. Mickey Mouse. Oh, look at that. Pen. 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 And more. It's unbelievable. It goes on and on and on. All the little golden books. Seven drawers. Duckling. Winnie the Pooh. Tailspin. Crispy. Peter Pan. Beauty and the Beast. More Tailspin. Rudolph. Lion King. Lion King. And Aladdin. All the greats. Then there's just tons of cards, Mike. And what is this? What is Oh, man. This is, oh, it's VHS tapes. Oh, DVDs. Of a bunch of movies I just dropped. Unbelievable. Let's see what else we can find. Keep watching. Let me fix this mess. Well, these are the ones I dropped. All these movies right here. The Art of Buster Keaton. That's right. It's the 11 feature in 19 short films. I did not know that. It looks like we got a toy here in tons and tons. What's this? Dead Man Johnny Depp? I've never seen that one. Oh, should I take it home for the kids? Yeah. The awesome. original! <laughs> King Kong! So we got all kind of movies in here. Hairspray. The Maltese Falcon with Humphrey Bogart. Pat Benatar. Live. Yeah, look at that. Spy Kids. Moonlighting. Look at He had hair. He had hair! Bruce Willis had hair! Who knows what else we got here? A bunch of movies. Oh. Yeah. The updated King Kong version. Over the Hedge. 24. Nip Tuck. Harry Potter! And there's just like cards and VHS tapes and... Oh, what's this? Got some little brush set here, Mike. Mm -hmm. and a, oh, look at that. Clarabelle the Cow! Wow. Look how old this book is. I'm going to say 1930, 40. Let's see if I can get a date in here, Mike. Some of these old books, they didn't put dates on. They didn't care about dates back then. 1938. Wow. Unbelievable. It still even exists. Still is it? Wow, wow, West. Wow, wow, West. So, 
All kinds of stuff in there. We got some boxes here. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh, wow. Take a look at this. All kind of non-sport cards. Bloodline. Star Trek. Looks like it's coming apart. Looks like a whole set of Star Trek cards. Some kind of Superman. More Star Trek. Deep Space Nine. <laughs> we got some uh, Snoopy crayons. Okay. We found more of these. Fantasy Flight. More Bloodlines. What is this here? Sergeant Pepper something band. Oh, Sergeant Pepper movie. Oh. From the 70s. Fair Fawcett? Oh, no, so. Sandy something in there. It has strawberry fields. Okay. William Shatner. This is the Stargate. The man. The log. Captain's log. Stargate. Cyclops. So that's kind of cool. Definitely some money in there. We got some more boxes, Mike. Mike, my Mike. Oh, look at this. Loaded with cards. Oh, we got some old ones. Oh, look at that. 50s. That's an oldie right there. These are the kind of cars you're looking for. Ozzie Newsome. Brian Sipe. Newsome, what year is this? This is his fourth year card here. And Too Tall. Too Tall Jones. And there's some classics in here. Oh, this... This might be a really good set right here. Look at Juan Gonzalez, Juan Don. Mr. Baseball, Reggie Jackson. Mr. October. That's right, man. Ken Griffey Jr. That's like his rookie card, almost 89, I think, says rookie. Wow. Ryan Sandberg. There's some good cards in here. Jose Canseco, rookie. Hmm. Jose! He could hit the ball. Ozzy Smith, look at that vintage goodness. Man, there's some good cards in here. 81 clear. I remember. Rod Carew. Man, look at this. So this, I mean, this is packed, stacked with good vintage cards. Mike Schmidt. So he looks like you got 80s, 90s, 70s. Just a whole mixture. But I keep seeing Daryl Strawberry, Jose Canseco, Roberto Alomar. People you actually know. You know, Phil Plant here. I don't never heard of the guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Oh, boop, good. boop, boop, money. Huh. There's an old card right there. Just mixed in with them. There's no rhyme, no reason. Cecil Fielder. Maurice Vaughn. Mo. Mo Vaughn. Frank Thomas. I mean, because I, I mean, there's some good cards in here. Wow. And that's just, I mean, a partial of a stack here. There's just more and more, and the cards are getting hot again, people, I'm telling you. This is a good find right here. Paul O'Neill. So who knows who's all in here. We got Jose Canseco. I mean, there could be a, I mean, there's obviously already some good cards in there. We got some old cards. So what else we got? We got basketball cards, baseball cards. What else could be in these boxes? Oh. Matchbox? Fievel, Fievel, Fievel. Some doggies. Oh, look at all these doggies. We got, oh, don't tell me they're all empty. Nope. Someone got the movies in there, look at these. The Curious World. There's just a bunch in here, look at this. Huckleberry Finn. And these old movie rolls, look at this. I have no clue what kind of projector they play on. Oh, this is actually Popeye in there. But talk about vintage goodness right there, you know. So we found some more of these in the other episodes. So take a look at the past videos. Once again, consents.com. And man, oh, what's this? Oh, Mike. Side. Ooh, Morgan. Morgan Dollar. 
1921 silver dollar. Wow. That's a good find. What else could be in here? Oh, no way. Glass Donald Duck. Got some of these little. It's like the pigs and the wolf or something. Three little pigs. So we find silver coins, vintage baseball cards, Harry Potter. <laughs> One more box to go. Anything else good in there, Mike? What do you think? Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Just look inside, look down, look, look at Ding! <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you live for, you want to find. We got jewelry right on top. Got rings, necklaces, tie tacks, or tie clips, whatever you call them. Railroad crossing pins. So who knows? We could have gold, silver. Look at this vintage one right there. You got coins in here. Look at that. So a lot of times these things right here, little pieces like this, they could be gold, gold filled, just depends. I mean, that's vintage. It looks like gold. But it's probably gold filled. Man, look at that. This whole thing loaded. Pins and clips and buttons and oh my! Oh, look at that! Buffalo nickel thing. Yeah, buffalo nickel ring. Where are you gonna find one of those, Mike? Second sense. Second sense auctions. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Man, old style. Got a batting token in there. Who knows? All kind of tie clips and stuff. So we'll have to go through this later. Look at these spoons right here. These could be sterling silver. Look at this. Quaker early birds. See these got like people on them. John Adams presidential spoons maybe. Wow. This is silver plate. So some of these could be sterling. I don't know. I'm going to have to get my loop out. Take a look. Definitely some of our silver plate, I could tell. But that is awesome. Collector spoons, once again, people collect everything. You just don't know. You gotta go through everything. Look at this. We got lighters in here. Oh. Big four winner. I don't know what that means. We got more lighters. I mean, unbelievable. You guys gotta check our other videos out. You never know what you're gonna see. Hit that bell, subscribe. I mean, look at this. The Marilyn Monroe fan club. That's got to be money right there. Once again, you can actually buy the stuff. www.secondsense.com. All will be coming up our January, February auction. A lot of the stuff will probably be going to our pop culture auction coming up. Toys, pop culture stuff. Look at this. Mother's Day. Old little pin there. You know they're old. Just look at how you pin. There's... Doesn't that look like you might get hurt? <laughs> I just can't believe the Marilyn Monroe pin. That's really cool. So Connie, right there. That's that's Soco of New York. Hmm. Yep. You didn't know I knew that, huh? And you're like, nope, didn't know. Betty Boop. Everyone loves Betty Boop. Man, I just can't believe this. It's just this is so full of vintage, vintage pins. Duran Duran pin. There you go. You put that on your jean jacket, Mike. You'd be styling. House of Blue, Sunset Strip. I mean, Superman, 1976. Oh, my gosh. It just goes on and on. I really appreciate everybody watching out there. And, you know, I try to go through the stuff the best I can for you. I wish I could show you every single thing. We got Aladdin pin in here. Warner Ant Max Cable. We're committed to. <laughs> Who knows? This is like, look at this little Panama button down there. So many cool things. And... Oh, <laughs> my fingers are getting numb here. The Big Bill Thompson. I don't know what that is. It could be a political pin. It could have been a cartoon radio show. Who knows? And there's just so much in here. This thing is just pack stack. Vintage goodness. Donald Duck. Betty Boop. Sesame Street Live. Oscar the Grouch. Disney. 
home video, Fender guitar, on and on, Snoopy, Pat Benatar, <laughs> unbelievable. Appreciate all you guys watching. Thank you so much. Who knows what we're going to find next. Keep watching.